Hey y'all, a uh, little long time no see here. Um, I got something I want to show you guys today. I thought it was pretty cool, something I don't see done a lot down here. Probably because our trout have scales and up north trout, like rainbow trout, things like that. They don't have scales and you don't have to scale them, but I'm going to show y'all how we're going to do these, okay? There's a certain way I want to cook them. I want to cook them whole in the oven, nice and roasted. So we're going to keep them solid like this. I'm going to show you what I learned. All right, so what we're going to do here is poke this little guy in the belly like that. And we're going to cut straight up, okay? Straight through those two fins, just like that, okay? Right all the way up on through, okay? And then next, there's these two little like slits underneath his jaw right here, not his gills, right on top of that, okay? And what we gonna do, I'm on his back, with the can, hold him still. We are gonna poke straight through that. You see that, y'all? Just like that, and we're gonna cut out, right? Man, we hook him. Open his mouth out a little bit, watch them little trout teeth, cause they will get you. We're gonna put our fingers in like that and we're gonna pull straight down, okay? Get a little extra grip in there if you got to, okay? All right, we're gonna pull straight, pull straight down and look at all of that. Perfect. All the guts. And then some pretty little eggs. Put that in my ice water. We're gonna fry that up too. And there we go. Nice and clean. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take this little kidney vein line right here, slice that right up the middle, and we're just gonna run our thumb straight up that line like that. And just clean that blood out a little bit. And then we're gonna give them a little bath. All right, so I do want to cook these fish completely whole. So what I need to do now is debone it. I'm gonna scale it at the end. But I'm going to show you guys how we debone them, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is take this little top dorsal fin right here. And I'm going to cut right on the edge of that little fin. If I can get it. There we go. And I'm going to feel my bones on the edge of my knife all the way down. You can feel it. You clean fish before you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, get you a good fillet knife. Go catch you some fish. Try it out for yourself. Make sure you're not cutting through those little bones, you want to cut with it. Cut it out. Look at that. Perfect. I'm going to have a little hole in the top, just like that, okay? I'm going to flip him back over on his back, okay? And then we're going to cut straight up. I don't know if you hope you guys can see this. See his spawn right here? We're gonna cut straight on each side of that. And when you get to his tail right here where we originally cut, we're gonna go, we're gonna cut all the way to the end of his tail, okay? So we can get that whole spine out. We don't wanna leave that. Point of this too, y'all, is to save a lot of the belly meat that usually gets cut out when we clean the speckled trout the traditional way that we do it down here. We usually just fillet them and fry them like that. But a lot of our belly meat we get rid of. But I don't want to do that because that's where a lot of our healthy things come from. Our omega-3s, fatty acids, things like that. So I don't want to get rid of that. I'm going to keep as much as I can for my new style. Of cleaning fish. Leash trap. Now it's still attached here at the head. I cut it underneath a little bit. And if you look close, there's a little ball joint right at the base of his neck that you can just pop it right out. I wish I could zoom up and show you guys exactly, but if you get down dirty with these fish, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's right here at the base of the neck. All right, and then next, we have these little rib bones on the side that also need to come out. And if you look close, there's a little thin layer of skin 
that if you get it right, you can ride the back side of those bones all the way down, right underneath that little layer of skin. And you're gonna pull them all out of there. Easy peasy. Just like that. A little thin, little piece. Again, saving as much meat as possible. Alrighty, y'all, so I got a nice, good filleted, deboned trout right here that is almost ready to get stuffed and put in a pot, but we gotta scale it first. We usually spoon scale things around here, but this is quick and easy, so move my knife. I'll take him like this, flip him over, grab him by the tail. Get you a good hose, good nozzle first, okay? Turn it down a little bit because I'm about to splash things everywhere. And you just want to hold them by the tail. And this is the easiest way, y'all. Don't wear good clothes if you don't feel like getting soaking wet. But best way to scale right here. <laughs> y'all getting wet? This little guy right here, ready for the pain. I just think that is so pretty. Perfect, boneless trout. I am gonna stuff this little guy and pin him up real good. Put some lemons on the top. Delicious. So what we did here, we, we gutted them up real easy. Keep them whole, because they're the way I wanna cook them. We deboned them which is absolutely gorgeous if you ask me. And then we scaled them with my trusty, rusty nozzle over here. I think it is pretty neat and I really wanted to share this with you guys. Um, I've, we don't ever eat trout down here like this and I am so excited to cook these little puppies up. I think they're gonna be delicious. Y'all stay tuned. I might give y'all my recipe. We'll see. <laughs> All right, y'all.